Coach Kidd, after halftime, down by 16, that third quarter, y'all really responded, and then the fourth quarter, but going back and forth, what do you think your team's performance there in the second half, and how did y'all battle all the way back? Yeah, they responded. Uh, I thought we had a great conversation at halftime, and uh, that, that group played hard. Um, I thought we got off to a good start in the third quarter. Uh, Hardy gave us a spark off the bench. Um, Luca was Luca. Um, you know, I, I thought the guys, again, um, we, we solved some of the problems. We talked it out in the, in the locker room at halftime and uh, responded. It was a great second half. Maybe one of our best quarters to hold a team to 12 points. So that lets us know that we can do it. Um, and then we can hold each other accountable for that. What specifically made the zone effective against them? <laughs> Energy and effort. I, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, you know, just caring. And uh, I thought that group did a great job there um, with the zone. Um, and then being able to, to rebound the ball, you know, out of the zone is, uh, you know, sometimes can cause a problem. But uh, we got stops there in that third quarter. And, uh, and then I think that, you know, our offense kind of opened up and guys started making shots. It seemed like you were excited by it, too. Up on the sideline, it seemed like a lot more. I don't know if that's just the product of the, the zone defense or. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I have to participate and play defense with them, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'm in shape mentally or physically to do that, uh, but whatever it takes, uh, I'm, I'm in. So if I have to jump around on the sideline um, to, to tell everybody or help everybody, then that's that's what a coach has to do, and I guess that's what I have to do. But I got to get in shape. I don't know if I can do that uh, for 48 minutes. They get the sub, so I don't have a sub. But, again, I, I thought the character, um, it was a gut check uh, in that locker room at, at halftime, and I'm proud of those guys uh, responding because it wasn't um, a nice conversation. And, and those, those, young, those young men in that locker room responded, and uh, that was a big win. Jason, your team is 5-1 and one when Tim Hardaway Jr. scores over 30 points this season. Just what does a game like tonight do for him personally and then your team as well? Yeah, I think Tim has played at a high level for us. Uh, again, um, if it, I wish it was that easy that we can mark him down for 30 so we can get the, the win total. But uh, we've asked him to come off the bench. We've asked him to start. We've asked him to, to guard bigs. Uh, and he's a true pro. And uh, he, he played a great game for us, uh, stepping into the starting role and, and flip-flopping with Hardy. And I thought Hardy gave us a big spark, too, in that first. And so, um, I, but Tim was great tonight. Tim was really good. Just mentioned Hardy. What do you see in his next step in the development for him to do this consistently? A uh, great question. I think you answered the question. Key word is is being consistent, and that's what um, our young team is is fighting for. Uh, we got young players who can at times be inconsistent, and that's just the nature of of the game. Um, but we're going to stay positive and, and keep teaching. Um, Again, you know, Hardy played at a high level, and now it's, you know, being able to stack that and, uh, you know, come back uh, against Minnesota and give us, you know, we're not asking for the same effort. We're just asking to be consistent. Um, and that's with Josh, too. You know, we got young players that we're, we're leaning on to, to play at a high level. And, and, and so sometimes it can be uh, – a little inconsistent, but we're going to stay positive. We know that Hardy can play at a high level, and he he, he showed that tonight. Um, before the game, Mo said that the main factors were Luca, Luca, Luca in the three point shooting. So, how did it feel to see that those shots go in uh, in the second half? Yeah, you know, I think uh, there was carryover from from the Sacramento game at the end, um, being able to uh, you know get out and run. Uh, Knocking down the corner three tonight was big for us. Being able to, the ball touches the paint. Uh, Luca creates a lot of open shots. Guys uh, benefited from that tonight, and they kind of benefit the whole season. But being able to knock down shots gives us energy. Uh, playing in the zone, being able to rebound in the zone, and then being able to play uh, with pace. I know, um, you know, we, we, we knocked uh, Luca's minutes down by three tonight, um, but... You know he he's he's a monster, and you know, we gotta we gotta get healthy and find someone that takes some minutes from from him. Uh, but being able to knock down threes, we're an offensive team. When we score, um, we can play with the best of them. It's just having those lapses of three or four minutes where we we struggle to score. Um, how did it? Um, what was the feeling of when they were going back and forth with the team? It almost felt like a heavyweight. Yeah, it was. 
I, it's a great game to be involved in as as a player. Uh, when the stars, uh, you know, step up, it's you know, understand their star is going to go and our star is going to go. And I think I hope I answered your first question, but Luca is the game plan. You know, I've said this before, and so um, Mose knows that he he's been around um, Luca, but. It, it, it's a great game. Um, it's a game much needed for us for confidence and, and feeling good about doing the right things. Um, we'll talk about some of the late game stuff uh, to get better at, but um, I thought the group did a great job tonight. Thank you. Thanks.